Hello, hello, welcome back to Days Gone. Welcome back. Welcome back to it. Yeah, baby. Here we are. Let's get ready. Just bloody do it. Um, in the last episode, I'm going to say it. I hated the last video I did. I hated it. I didn't have a good time. I played terribly. I didn't really want to play it, but I just powered through because it was progressing with the story. But hopefully this one will go a bit better. Um, but yeah, this is literally where I left off in the last one is what I'm doing now. So let's go. Yeah. Hey, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So. Yeah, I do. Where did you serve? Marines? Army? None of your business. I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years. Part cool. of SAC. There ain't no missile silo in <laughs> What is going on? I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Cutscene. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. You know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, oh. you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd I don't know what to think about this um, corporal guy. Was he a corporal well, captain? I can't remember was. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I, I don't know if he, you it up. with the ring, kidding. like, could he have just found it? Doesn't mean he had to take it off her, you know, you don't know. He seems like an alright bloke. But then again, he could be an evil bastard, so, you know, I don't know. I can't see into the future, but I wish I could. I wish I could. This is a nice so little walk. where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. Whoa. Right. Look at the stars. That is definitely unrealistic. No way you'd be able to see that much. What would my mom say if she knew Actually, no. This is in the middle of nowhere, so you might be able to. Nowhere with an outlaw biker. I don't know. She'd say, "Honey, you better wear your sweater." Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything. You know, you weren't supposed to tell them about us. Remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know, I didn't mean that. Hey, look. I'm not judging. I'm just. I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, there's that. Ha. Huh. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. 
And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? Yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Yep. So, he knows it's way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come <laughs> on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get I'm sure I was a bit closer, so I can hear what she's saying. Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to out of our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. This is a long walk. Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, and this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation, put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Can we get there now? <clears throat> I've got places to be. <laughs> See, this is what zombie apocalypses do. They ruin everything. Look how nice this is. Oh my god. Look at that moonlight. It is... It's so beautiful. Can't Keep see going. It. Oh, there is. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world? I wonder if there's a good photo opportunity here. What do you mean? Like all dark and shadowy? I tried to do photo and photo mode, but it looks shit, so that was a waste of time. everything seriously. Yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? <laughs> okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. <laughs> okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay? See? This yeah. is why I brought you out here. That is pretty. Well done, Deacon. <laughs> it wasn't a waste of time. Beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker rig on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little thing. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Uh, that's 
Moria Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's no, not great. Absolutely, great. because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without things. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, that's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Uh, hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cause did he just leg it out of it? <laughs> he shot off. Um he just sprinted that way. Anyway. That was nice, wasn't it? Back in the good old days that was. The weapon here. Well, I think I might swap. Holy shit, man. No, what are you doing? Um, Scrap. Good. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what happened with this guy here. Because he seems alright, but again, like I said, you don't know. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, the photos went with them. Yes. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, phones. Carrie, her father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around oh, with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. What's up, soldier? My guns. Oh, this is the, um, different camp. This is massive. Holy shit. Taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it. Oh, taking so something like this. Motivation. The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Oh. Down up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Hang me. This is, this is not gone well, is it? Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! He's got moustache. He's got moustache. At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here 
Because you were invited. Recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Adkins. Crystal. Sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive. Yeah. To stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives Amen. this. But here, upon this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's Let's go. Goddamn go. redneck assholes. Get off of me. <laughs> 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 swear God. What about Get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor. Yeah. Uh, wait. Huh? And um, yeah. no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid the, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must right. think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. I don't think Deacon's gonna play by the rules, is he? The freaks? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Hmm. 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 I don't know what to think. Well, it's a strong... Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the ship? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Uh, Bye, con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions. Because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. 
Okay. He's one of them. Oh dear. He's gonna... He's gonna do stuff. Right. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake? Uh, Wizard Island? I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story? I mean, uh, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Oh. Where are we going? It's taking me to a dark okay, cave. Son, I don't let's trust get it. you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that. Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <laughs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Normally we start new recruits keep that. in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. Oh, that's what you long see way down. Is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network caves and vents that lead from here up to the cone's peak when our work is complete they will be filled with thousands of seeds plants computer files and books the world may die but our achievements in medicine science and technology will not die with it no sir but the island is more than just an ark corporal it is a stronghold a fortress huh? Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. Hmm. Sorry I'm not talking much in this. I just want to hear what this fella's going on the about. Part of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Where sir. You, need me? you asked how we were going to defeat the Horde. Let me show you. Has he got a nuke? Whoa! Now! 
You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. You working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Who is this witch they going on about? Let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. I wonder what was on his hand. That was a moment now, isn't it? As as Old I biker club Lieutenant member? I don't know. What you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. Oh. He got so excited there, he did a little jog. Alright, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Oh. Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and oh, uh oh, eight terp turpin terp Get out. Shit. Get out. Oh my god. Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. Huh? Got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out on the shit. Read this. What? What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can you? What? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, alathrin acid. Good enough, when can he start? Ah. Oh. I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Oh, she's putting that on. Okay, I assume. Sir. Stand at attention. You're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Was overrun. And, we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would, I would see, you again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. 
Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Holy shit. What? You're joking. I don't know what to say. That was whoa, my mind. Poof. I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, found her. Game over. Roll credits. That was a good game, wasn't it? I'll see you the next one. Obviously, I'm joking. Um, right. Um, can I pause? Okay, let's, let's just let this all happen first, and then I'll stop the game. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. I want to save my game. St. John to HQ. It's not letting me. Uh, where's my bike? Let's just go to my bike. Uh, your requisition form says and then I'll pause, and, and then yeah, I will sure. talk hey, about sure. stuff. Shut uh, I want to go to my bike, mate. Unit out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Hey. Right. Right, okay, I'll save my game. Yeah, well, that was so weird. She's, uh... I thought she had, like, extreme amnesia for a second there. And I was like, oh no, she's obviously doesn't want to, anyone to know. But, holy shit. She's, um, obviously it wasn't going to be like a, oh no, I found you. Oh, we're going to live forever together now. Let's run away into the hills and never look back. Obviously it wasn't going to be like that. But still, that was odd, wasn't it? Found her though. I knew she was alive, like she had to have been, but... God, I do not know what's going to happen to the, with the end of this game now. Holy shit, man. I have no clue what's going on. I, I thought the end would be you find Sarah. That's, that's her name, isn't it? And then... Then something else happens and then someone dies and that's the end. That was my idea. But obviously that's not what's going to happen. Someone might die still, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. Didn't know she was going to be some sort of member of this... Mini army, but yeah. Anyway, whew, I don't know. I'm gonna stop playing now. Anyway, um, I'll see you in the next episode. That was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely better than the last episode. The last one was shit. I would not recommend. Um, sorry if you did watch that. Awful. Um, but anyway, see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, bye bye.